sorry. I'm leaving early to go to leave to go to Billy Eilish. Okay, I'm really excited. Can you tell? Taking two other people. Well, my mom is driving. But anyway, so taking two other people and, you know, so we can get there, get good, like, standing places. We're leaving at 1, which means we all had to get out of school early. And my friend... Francis can't couldn't get out till twelve thirty, so that's when she's picking everyone up. It's at twelve thirty. I was like, I'm just gonna leave right before lunch, which I thought my lunch was at eleven thirty. I don't know why I thought that because it's at twelve thirty. So I wrote my note for eleven thirty, but it's really twelve thirty. So now I have an hour to do nothing, which is cool. I'm so excited. I love her so much. I'd be like, oh. Oh. <laughs> I would. Okay. I would. Okay, well, to be on your road <laughs> with no direction. Oh, it's Bob Dylan, guys. Like, oh my gosh, wait, I, a I complete unknown. Since we're missing, guys, this is why you should oh, not go. Right. 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 I don't. My I hate this song. Feelings. It's a bad song. It is not a good song. It is not one you may bop to. It is not a bop. Before you do something to me. I don't like it. Ooh, now I never get over you. I hate it.
You look so bad. You look? Oh my god. I have to go to school like this. I feel so dead. I get to go sleep. Take a bath. Yeah. I figured I would just kind of talk about my experience with Miss Billie Eilish because it was amazing and it was probably the best night of my life. So first I met these people who like, if you ever see these people, shout out to you. I love y'all. I met these two friends and they are amazing. They're great people. Love them. Um, he'll come in like the one, it was a dude and a girl. And he'll, dude will come into the story later, like, why, he's, like, great. But anyway, so, um, basically, it was great. I was, like, I would say, like, the, here's, like, the stage, like, barrier thing. There was, like, people, then, like, me. Like, I was, like, the second back. So, like, not close enough to touch her hand, but, like, close enough to, like, look into the eye, like, look into her eyes and, like, when I look into her eyes, I see Jesus. Like, it's like, you think she's pretty in pictures, then you see her in person, and it's like, oh my god, you're basically an angel. Um, honestly, I just want to meet her so I can just be like, hey, we could be best friends. Like, I don't know. If I got to talk to her, I would be honest. I wouldn't freak out. I'm okay. I'd freak out in the inside. I'd be like, I'd like be chill because like I want to be friends, you know. And I'd be like, Hey, just thought I'd let you know, I'm straight. Like I like dudes, but if it came to you, I don't know. You could be the exception. I don't know how she'd take it, but I feel like it's information she should know. Like, she makes straight people question sometimes. I don't know. I feel like she's a cool person. So, like, she'd get it. And she'd have a laugh out of it. And then, like, we'd be best friends. I don't. I sound insane. I literally sound insane. Oh, my God. It was so hot and miserable before she came on. Oh, my God. It was insane. There were so many people, like, jammed together. Which I had never experienced that. And... You know, it was too packed to go get water, so there was no water anywhere. And everyone was, like, dying. This one girl had a panic attack. My friend Frances even got... She was like, I can't do this. And she had to, like, move to the back. But it was insane. Like, oh my god. At this one point, like, the people, like, the little security guards were throwing out water because it was getting so bad. And... This is why, like, I'm sick now because of this, but, like, worth it, but, like, still sucks that I'm sick because, because everyone was literally, like, dying of thirst and they were throwing around water bottles, obviously there wasn't enough water for all of us. So we all had to have communal water and we all had one, like, water bottle and we'd all take turns, random ass people like me and some random people were sharing a drink like we were trying you know to waterfall it but still still that's insane and i didn't really think she was gonna play my favorite song y'all know my favorite song is hostage i would literally die for that song it is amazing right so you know they did the encore and she comes out and she sings hostage right this boy that I met, he's, like, super tall. And, you know, when it comes to this, the concert, every, it's every man for themselves. So, like, he was, like, got, he got in front of me at one point. Like, love you. Like, I'm not, I'm not even mad. I get it. Like, I'm just not, I'm not strong enough to push, to my, uh, push my way up to the front. But he was. So, he was in front of me. And I was telling him how I was obsessed with the song Hostage. I was obsessed with it. It's my favorite song. And so that when that song came on, he looked at me and he like pushed me up in front of him. And he was like, there you go. And when she sung it, I don't even have a video of her singing it. Because I sat here, I had my eyes closed. And I was just like, like this is my song. Like, I realize how stupid I sound. But I kid you not, she was singing. I was just like, I love this song. And I love her. And I'm going to be honest. I may have shed a tear. Billy, if you see this, be friends with me. I, I don't know. I'm going to put it out there. Put it out to the world. 
I don't know. But, yeah. So, I went to a Billie Eilish concert. And it was the greatest moment of my life. And now I want to be best friends with her. And she's beautiful. And talented. And amazing. And I'm literally insane. And I sound insane. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my vlog.